Hey guys, Rambling Bob here again. I want to do a stress test on the inverter on the Occutel P2001, just to let people know. This inverter is pretty good in here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 550 draw from the P2001, and I'm going to dump that power into the Pecron via the AC charger. So we'll watch that go up. That should pull out probably about six, yeah, about 630, six, almost 640. Okay, now I'm going to dump a huge heater into the load, and then let's see. That should push it up right about 2,000. So that's normally where the, the inverter is designed to cut off, right about 2,000. However, this system is made pretty good. This inverter in here is pretty good, and it doesn't heat up bad. Um, the fans have not kicked on. They're just uh, just a hair, just, just a tad. Um, and we're pushing literally 99% max output on this inverter. That's uh, a 2,000 watt inverter. Now, watch this. You see that? That's almost 2,500 watts. Now notice this thing doesn't even, it didn't even flinch, right? I love this compartment, by the way. This, so we have 2,400 watts coming out almost. This, this thing hasn't even, it hasn't even hiccuped yet, right? Now watch this. Now we're 2,500, that's 2,534. We are 534 watts over the rated power of this machine. This, for a little box, has a monster good inverter in it. It's 23, or 2,533 output. Now, let's see if we can push it one more. Let's see. 27, now the fan's kicked on. Guys, that's 2,721 watts of output power AC. And this inverter is still running. Can you believe that? That is a monster power out of a small box. Remember, this box is only rated for 2,000 watts output. 2,000, and that's max on all, all the ACs combined. We literally have 2,700, I hope you can see that, 2,710 watts of output rated power. There you go, teams. You want to be in the video? Okay. So my cat's here. <laughs> we're, all, we're backing up. So. All right. There you go. Uh, micro rambling bobcat. All right. So as you can see, it's not getting hot. Otherwise, my cat would be unhappy. So 2,709. I don't have anything else to plug in, guys. I, I, I don't. I really don't. Um, <laughs> I, I really don't. I wish I had more heaters. I only have the four heaters. Um, but as you can see, look, there you go. Okay, so 2,700 watt hours that ran for that long. That's a long time to push that much power on a box that's not designed to, to hold that. And now watch this. You turn this bad boy back on. And I think what that is, is eventually the boards will get hot. But remember, it's only designed to put out 2,000 watts and maybe a little bit more surge, but it's certainly not made to hold, you know, 2,700 watts out. So that's fantastic. So let's put this back on. Oh, I got to turn the inverter back on. Okay, notice how it's ready to go. It's hot and ready to go. And now watch this. That's a monster box, guys. For a little box like that, now it's putting out 2,500 watts again. Remember, it's not designed to put out that much. So if you ever needed a little bit of extra oomph, this inverter in here is pretty nice. I, I'm not a fan of the com battery capacity of this model, but the inverter, wow. That's a lot of, lot of muscle for a little box like this. And you can see everything else is active, right? And you're still you're pumping out 2500 watts i don't want to go all the way to the um uh 27 well you know what what the heck you know what's the worst that could happen it shuts off it restarts it's not a bad box guys i i own two of these this as you can see this is number one i own two of these but i just want to let people know that uh you know if if, if, if they need to push this thing i mean look at we're 2700 watts again i'm going to pull it back down to 25 it, it, it can run 25 without any problems 27 is a little too much for it but it shouldn't be able to run that. So the, the, 
Uh, battery capacity is about 1550 out of 2000 rated on this machine. And the inverter though, you know, it's a little power hungry. You lose about 1% of power per hour. However, however, look at what you can draw out of this machine if need be. If you're at a work job site or something like that and you really needed something that, you know, is a strong tool, you know. This is 2500, you know, watts going out right now. The fans are running and uh, it's like it's running. <laughs> no, normally what I recommend for power stations is you stay within the 50 to 75 percent rated output uh, that way you, you don't create that extra heat and you don't burn up stuff but it is sure hell is nice that you could push that system that hard if you needed to you know let's push it up to 2700 again oh it's getting hot in here all these heaters I got four heaters going my shop is heating up there you go okay so now we know that it cannot hold 2700 watts but like I said, it wasn't designed to. That's a long time before that inverter cuts off. That's a great inverter. Let's restart it one more time and we'll do one more capacity or a max test, if you will. Okay, I'll turn the inverter on. I always forget that part. Right, my cat's back here again. All right, let me put her on the floor. Here you go, babes. Go on the floor. There you go. Okay. So we'll put the, uh, the heat. Sorry about my cat, guys. She loves me dearly and she doesn't let me out of her sight. All right, so we're going to go like this, and we're going to go right back to 2,500 watts. So if you needed something that, that, that uh, is, is obviously, obviously uh, less rated than what it can you know, actually do, uh, it'll run that 2,500 for a long time. Can't run 2,700 very long, but if you needed it for a short time, that's a hell of an inverter in there. All right, guys, I just wanted to do a review. I do so much reviews on the Pecrons. I wanted to put a little bit more info on this guy. This, this is a pretty good machine. Like I said, I own two of them. I enjoy them. All right, guys, links are in the description if you need them. Thanks. Ramble on. Be safe. And as you can see, 2,500 watts. Ramble on, guys. I give this a thumbs up. I don't like the capacity, but I love the inverter. All right, guys. Bye.